All right, quick tutorial here. Uh, I just created a new R project. You can do that with file, new project, and name it what you want. Uh, I just called it, you know, here, how to import a text file, because that's what we're doing. And that's what we're gonna be looking at, how to import a text file. Uh, now I am gonna create a script for this as well. You could do all this in the console right here, uh, but just because it's what I always do, I'm gonna create a script here. I'm gonna save it as just like demo for now. Uh, obviously, if you're doing this in an actual project, you should probably create a script and you should name it appropriately. Now, what we can do here is we can open our working directory. So this is going to be what our working directory is right here. Um, if it's not what your working directory is, uh, you can, of course, um, set it as your working directory. So just to be safe, and you can see it ran this command for us here. So this is now a working directory. And we can open it up in our file explorer. So here we go. Now I have a athletes.txt here in my downloads. And if we take a look at this, uh, we see a header row, and this is gonna be important. This is a, um, a row that has like the labels for our data points here, our values. So we'll look at why that's important later. And then we'll also notice this is comma delimited. So this is technically a comma separated uh, file. So this could be a CSV import as well, probably, but we're going to do TXT because that's what we're looking at. And the default for TXT is tabs. So that is tab separated values. When I initially did this, I thought, okay, well, it's obviously the data points are obviously delimited, delim delimited by commas, but each row is separated by a new line. So I thought the, the DLIM parameter was new line, but it's not, it's comma it knows that each row is a new line already. So know that. So we're gonna save that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this from our downloads or wherever you have the file you want. We're gonna paste it into our working directory and we can X out here and we see the athletes.txt is right here and we can even view it here in our studio. Now, but what we wanna do is we wanna say our data equals, right? We're gonna set it equal to something and just so you know, equals the same as doing this thing, but you can tell I'm not very good at doing that because equals is so much easier. Um, so we're just going to do read dot dlim dlim2. I think the only difference between dlim and dlim2 is that dlim, the default separator, is a tab, and dlim2, the default, I think it might be the decimal that is, uh, is the differentiator. So dlim2, let's see. Yeah, the decimal is a comma here for DLIM2. And if we look at DLIM, we can see the decimal is just a period. So that's the difference there. Not a huge difference, but either way, uh, we want to select our file. So our file is athletes.txt, okay? And header is true, header is already true. And remember, we had that header row, so we want that to be true. If we did not have that, we would have to explicitly set header to false, okay? But we do have that header row, so we don't need to do that. Now the separator, is going to be a comma, right? It's not a tab. See, the default here is a tab, but we have a comma. Um, and then what are the other parameters? Can't get that thing to pop back up. I think this should be fine. So let's just run this and then we'll see what we got. So here's the data and here we go. Gender, age, time. So it recognized our header row and it, it labeled all our values and we have male, female, um, age, time, and this is just a data set for something, but this is how you import a uh, TXT file. Now, something interesting, if you don't wanna do this, I also saw, uh, if you don't know like what the file is, or maybe you wanna run this and choose a different file each time, you should be able to do file.choose. And now let's run this, I haven't actually done this. Okay, so it popped up this over here and I, it pops it open in my working directory. You possibly could even go back to other things and choose something choose something in not your working directory. Okay, it looks like it doesn't really like this. So we're gonna click athletes.txt, click open, and it runs that, and obviously nothing changed because it's the same file. But yeah, file.choose, you don't actually have to type in the file name. It'll pop up a interactive version of a file picker with your file explorer, and you can just pick what file you want. Um, that's nice if you wanna change it every time, I guess, or if you don't wanna type it out. But for our case, it's gonna be the same file every time, and not that hard to type out, so we can just run that. Um, oh, that's not a file, athletes.txt, there we go. Save that, and then our data is right here. And now we can do stuff on our data 
uh, summary data. You know, we could just, there we go. The uh, summary is right here now. So that is how you import a TXT file into RStudio. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks.